Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here. Welcome back to another drinks review. So today we're reviewing more of these Furosity or Furo City drinks that are by Mike Tyson. I'm surprised he's actually continuing to make these because he released his original drinks, um, his original flavours quite a while ago now, but he must be obviously doing well because I think he's got about another five new flavours out. And it's one of those things where they are exclusive to uh, like the food warehouse basically by Iceland. So you have to go there to get them. There's mango, there's a blueberry and a watermelon one. So there's quite a few new flavours in there ready to try. So today is the mango mayhem. So um, yeah, that's a cool looking camera. We've got kind of like the skulls and the flowers and stuff. Very obviously reminiscent of the mango loco from Monster, obviously. Um, yeah, very similar design with the skulls and the flower, which is to do with kind of the Mexico, Mexico, you know, uh, ritual and stuff with Afterlife of Mango and the vibe is basically what they are copying with Mango Loco. Um, usuals of these, zero sugar, zero calorie, caffeine content is bang on the average, about 32 milligrams per 100 mil, if I believe, no sorry, 31.5, so just below the average and then uh, just toying on the back as well. Anyway, so it's nice and cold, let's get straight into it. So I've got high hopes for this, obviously mango, zero sugar, everything like that, so it should be, should be quite nice. There we go. Let's give it a quick smell. Oh, it smells mango-y. Yeah, it smells nice. Cool, nevertheless guys, let's taste some. Now, obviously, the initial comparison to Mango Loco, obviously, remember, guys, Mango Loco is full sugar, um, which is a shame, really, because it is such a nice drink. But the Monster One is full sugar. This is sugar-free. So it's definitely not as syrupy as the Mango Loco and as rich in flavour, but, like I said, full sugar versus zero sugar. And not all the time that zero sugar is better or greater than a full sugar drink, for example, we know how we know, we all know how good and popular the Mango Loco is from Monster. We said you got a mango taste, and to be fair, for being again sugar free and everything like that, there seems to be no harsh, you know, sugar free tastes there, or really any harsh chemical tastes that would mess up the palate of the flavour in it. All I'm saying is with this is it. It hasn't got just as strong a mango, fla mango flavour as I would like or expect. I think I've definitely had some other mango sugar-free drinks in the past that have been much more stronger in flavour. But overall, apart from that, it's just a weaker but okay mango flavour and sugar-free drink. I mean, it's pretty much a sugar-free equivalent to the Mango Loco, just weaker in flavour. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, these were dirt cheap as well. All of the Tyson Fury drinks and all the Furiosity drinks were 50p actually now at the moment, which is incredibly cheap for, you know, 500 mil can. Of course, they're all still well in date. It's just, you know, they just obviously hell of a lot cheaper than what, you know, the Monster and other brands are. But yeah, it's okay. I can say, I said, not the best, not the worst. Pick it up, give it a try if you are by a food warehouse, something like that. But when you put it next to Mango Local or something like that, you know, Totally different drinks at the end of the day because of the sugar, but there we go. Well, as always, viewers, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.